everyone! So today Beauty Vlogger Bootcamp officially premiered. The first episode is now on YouTube and I just watched it and I could not be more excited. The YouTube channel that all of the Beauty Vlogger Bootcamp episodes are going to be on is youtube.com slash you look hot, which I will post below. It's like a mouthful. I just like ran out of breath. Um, and it's going to have all of the episodes of the season and it's also going to have like the elimination behind the scenes interview, which we're calling the boot, which I think is so clever. It's like boot camp, the boot. And then there's also going to be like behind the scenes footage. There might be some blooper. The new episodes are every Tuesday. So today's a Tuesday and the first episode was posted and then there's going to be one every Tuesday and there's like one person eliminated each episode episode and it's really exciting and the first episode was really good but I was so nervous watching it because you know I was obviously there because I like hosted the show and I was one of the judges along with Blair but I didn't get to see the episodes before they were done like I didn't get to help edit it I was just nervous like I was watching it with the rest of you guys and I was just like oh my gosh like what if I come across as mean or something like this so I did like want to also in this video talk about my feelings of the first episode like from my point of view because you know you get to see I guess as an audience member you only get to see like from the other side of the screen like watching the show but I was actually there and I kind of got to see how it happened so now that the episode is aired I can actually talk about the first episode and stuff like that but first I'm filming on a brand new camera which you can probably notice from the quality because it should be a huge difference I was filming on a Canon Vixia HF20 and that is what I've been filming on for literally almost three years I think because I got it for my birthday like two years ago and my birthday's in May so it, maybe it will be three years two or three years ago I got this Canon Vixia and I loved it and it was a big upgrade from the MacBook that I was filming on I was just filming on like my built-in eyesight and when I switched to the Canon Vixia I felt like it was a huge upgrade like it was really stepping it up in the camera world and like making my quality tons better and all this stuff but I was ready for another upgrade. So after years of using my little Vixia, and it's such a cute little camera, easy autofocus, easy to learn, like even I could like self-teach myself how to use this, whereas on the camera I'm filming on now, I had to get someone to help me. But after years of filming on it, this thing is beat up. Like look at this. Like do you see how it's like all like exposed, like parts have fallen off and like it's just this camera like served its purpose. I vlogged on it and filmed on it for years, but I was ready for an upgrade. So I went to Sammy's camera and I got a Canon Rebel T3i. That's what I'm filming on. And I'm filming on a Tamron lens. So it's not the lens that comes with the kit. I actually didn't get the kit lens at all. I got this and I got a Sigma lens and I'll write below what the exact lens that I'm filming on is because I don't have all the numbers memorized. I don't know much about it yet, but it was on recommendation by Miss Glamorazzi. She is another beauty guru here on YouTube and she uses this camera and this lens to film and she came over and like taught me exactly how to film on it and helped me with all my settings. I could use like a little remote with my other, with my Vixia and I'm gonna miss having a remote because I have to like go behind the camera every time I wanna turn this off and on and I didn't have to with this. But I tried using this and it doesn't work. Like stop, stop beauty vlogger boot camp if you don't know what it is it's a competition show that Blair and I filmed for you look hot it's like 10 challenges 10 contestants one's eliminated each episode on how to be like the next beauty vlogger so it's beauty vlogger boot camp because we go through challenges that all have to do with like makeup and fashion and styling and vlogging and all sorts of things everything that goes into being like a well-rounded beauty vlogger and Blair and I are the hosts and we're also the judges of the show and we have guest judges on a couple of episodes including like Gregory Gorgeous from here on YouTube and a couple of other people but um, he's a YouTuber so that's why I said him but he's actually on the second episode and if you watch the episode that's already on there it's like the little next week on and he's so cute in the episode like I loved him he walked in and I was like you are so fabulous like why are you so fabulous but um, cause Blair and I, since it was like boot camp, we planned on using, on wearing, um, t-shirts for that episode with like nice jeans and heels, but like we were going to just do like t-shirts and then he walked in and he was just, just so dressy. So we added like some big necklaces, I think in that episode, but, um, 
because we had all of our outfits pre-planned and we're pretty dressy in every single episode except that one. We had just decided to go real casual for that one because it's, you know, boot camp and we had like our little whistles and I don't know, it was fun. But um, I'm totally getting off track now. I wanted to say that I watched the episode. I know that I'm like my biggest critics, but I don't want to be perceived as like, this uber critical like insensitive person i think the episode is really really cute but i just want everyone to remember that it is just like a fun loving like little goofy like reality challenge show and it is a competition and blair and i are the host and the judges like we have to make the decisions of who's going home and someone has to go home every episode so i think like it's easy to think oh my gosh, Ellen Blair being so critical and so hard on these girls. Like, who are Ellen Blair to judge other people on makeup and fashion? And, you know, they're just real girls. Like, why do they think they're professionals and all this? And I get that that might be a controversy, and that's why I'm addressing it, because Blair and I are, like, real girls. Like, we never try to say we're professional and there's actually a point in that episode where I say like Blair and I don't even do our makeup in three minutes and we're professionals and I didn't mean it like we're professional makeup artists because we're absolutely not. I meant it more like we're the professional beauty vloggers here. Like we're the judges of the show. Just keep in perspective that it's just a fun competition show. It's like for fun. It's not too serious. It's not meant to be taken too seriously. It's hard to know that like you have to make the decision of who's going home and you're going to hurt someone's feelings. And it's hard to know that like in an episode you have to critique some people because that's like what the show is, you know, like you have to like compliment some and critique some. It's a challenge. Someone goes home. But I will say that this is like a little bit of a spoiler for the season. Not really, but um, there are like 10 elimin- like, well, 9 eliminations? There's 10 contestants. Blair does most of the eliminating, like the part where you actually tell the person they're going home, and it was because we were gonna do every other episode, and then I actually like chicken out on some of them, and I like don't want to be the person that like tells them they have to go home, so, um, I think Blair ends up doing more than me in the season, and she knows it, because I told her, I was like, can you just take this one? Like, I like don't want to do it. I just get like very- I feel very empathetic for them because I feel like if I was in that position, I would be like so hurt if like someone told me my purple eyeshadow was all over my um, eyebrows. But in my defense, the cameras do not pick up like the pigment of the colors really that well on that girl. And I'm not saying that like her eyeshadow was terrible. Like I'm meaner in that commentary than I meant to come across. It's not that bad. I just like was critiquing and that's what they left in like there was more said and that was what was put in the edit which you know the magic of editing but um it was also the pigment so on camera it looks like I have no clue what I'm talking about it's like wait she even has purple on her eyes like what's going on um but she was really nice I'm really excited about next week the little clip next week on at the end of the episode is so exciting like I am just I cannot wait to see that episode that was a really fun episode like that was a fun challenge it was fun because we had Gregory Gorgeous and he was just amazing and had a ton of personality and just like really added something to the episode this week's episode the one that you know is already on air about the three minute makeup that's a hard challenge and we actually wanted to make it five minutes and you know we finally decided to do three just to make that um, episode just more like timely like come together faster but five minutes like even you know we've done the five minute makeup challenge but we've had a mirror so I can't imagine like doing it without a mirror and that's why I say in the episode I'm like you know we've never done our makeup in five minutes or in three minutes but it's supposed to be like we knew it was going to be what we were really looking for in that episode is we wanted someone to see someone go for a lip color and not mess with their eyes because if you think about it like Eye makeup's very messy if you don't see what you're doing, whereas lips, like, yeah, granted, a dark color, like, you can be sloppy with it, but lips are much easier to, like, do, especially if you take your time with it, than eyes without a mirror, and maybe a little bit of blush, but, you know, not heavy contouring or anything, um, and that's why one of the girls 
Leah, I believe, she had like really heavily contoured cheeks, but then she had a pretty lip color. And we actually say to her, we're like, we were looking for that, like someone to go for the bold lip and not mess with their eyes. I am going to link below the channel that you can go see it on. If you haven't seen it already, you should, you're probably wanting to see it by now because it's, it's very exciting. I just don't want anyone to think that Blair and I are like mean or, uh, like insensitive or judgy in real life because we're not it just you know we're the we're judges in the show like that's what we do that was our role oh my gosh watching it back though and seeing some of the contestants like behind the scenes interviews I felt so bad for Rachel when she's like they walked by me and they just didn't say anything at all and at the bottom it says feels neglected and I'm just like you poor girl like I don't know why we didn't say anything to her. That made me feel kind of bad when I saw that. I was like, we left her out. And then Giselle with the uh, skin peeling. So she actually had had like a treatment, like a chemical peel or something right before. And I guess she didn't think that it was going to like, you know, react or still be for the show, like active on her face. And she was so embarrassed by it. And in her little behind the scenes interview, she's like, and I saw them walk by and they just have these fake smiles on their face. That's what was going through our head. Like we didn't know what to say to her. Like she was all peely and we, we didn't know the story at the time. We do now because we were actually not with the contestants at all, except when we were doing the challenges. So like the part where they're all at the hotel like getting woken up we weren't there so that's another thing like to kind of to keep in perspective perspective yeah perspective we like didn't see all the stuff as it was happening like we didn't see all the behind the scenes interviews we didn't know what they were saying so we only saw what was in the challenges and that was part of why like we didn't especially the first episode, like we didn't know the contestants at all. We didn't know their names yet, really. We didn't know like, you know, that much about who the strong ones were and all this stuff. It was a very like free for all. We have no idea who's going to be like the strong ones in this competition. All right. Well, that was all. Go watch Beauty Blogger Bootcamp and comment below on this video. Um, I don't know, talking about it. Do you like it? Like, are you excited for next week? What kind of challenge do you think we should like put them through? I mean, it's already filmed, but like, I don't know. It'd be fun to have your ideas on what cool challenges could be too. So, or what you hope to see in the season. But anyway, I will let you guys go and I'll see you later. Bye.